Can you tell the difference between these pictures? At first glance, I'm gonna guess probably not, but those three images come from three different upscalers. One of them is Mid Journey, another is Topaz Photo AI, and the third is from Upscale. Which one is the best? I'm not gonna waste your time. Topaz Photo AI is the real deal. It's the truth. It's the best upscaler and it's one of the most impressive piece of software I've ever used. But is it the best upscaler for you? I'm not so sure. Let me show you what I mean. We're gonna test a cool render of this armor. We're gonna test a coloring page, and then we're gonna test some fur. Three different types of images that you might come across in your generations. And we'll really see which upscaler performs the best. Here's the original mid-journey image I made. Futuristic medieval knight, nano armor, unsplash, chaos 20. And recently, mid-journey released a new upscaler. You can find a 2x and a 4x upscale underneath any image you select. That original image is 1.66 megabytes and this is what it looks like as you zoom in quite blurry not a lot of detail at all but with the 4x upscaler it creates a file size of 25.6 megabytes and here's what it looks like when you zoom in it maintains a lot of detail but i don't know what do you think i don't think the armor looks that great up close especially when it's trying to show off some acute details from reflective surfaces but let's compare it to our second upscaler i want to introduce you to upscale spelt with a Y. I'll leave the link to this in the description. There are some pretty important things to know about this. First, it's free and it's open source, so you can download it and run it locally on your computer. I'll point out the one downside of that right now. If your computer isn't that good, you might have some trouble running this program. I really don't know that much about computers. I'm not sure how old of a setup won't be able to run this, but since it's free, I guess you can just try it out on your own. My computer isn't anything special and it runs really well what I would consider to be fast. It takes like 30 to 50 seconds to 4x an upscale. And for the record, I have a GeForce RTX 3070. Not brand new by any means. What's cool about it is after it's made, you can use this slider in the middle and take a look between the old and the new. It is a bit hard to tell the difference from this zoom, which is why it's a little disappointing that you can't zoom in from this little preview screen. But if you look up here at the top of his helmet, that's the original, and you can see a bit of a color Color change. Now that color change will not always happen. Step two in the process is selecting a model, and there are a few different models to choose from. Because it's open source, there are always going to be a few different options, and that might be overwhelming to you. I'll make a video just about upscale and all the different options to run through. If that's something you're interested in, let me know in the comments. And I should tell you that it was my goal to get to 30,000 subscribers by the end of the year. It would mean a lot if you helped me out with that. Thanks. Now let's take a look at Topaz Photo AI. You have to pay for the Topaz software, but there is a free demo that you can try. You get access to all of the features, all of the sliders. The only only catch is you can't save the image. I highly suggest you download the free trial. You might fall in love like I did. It's going to run its little algorithm. Maybe the first thing you'll notice is that as you change the settings over here on the right, it creates a live update of the new image. Super powerful. Like right now the upscale is at 3.18. Well, let's change it to four. And in real time, it's enhancing and it updates. Like upscale, it comes with a few different models, standard, high fidelity, graphics, and low resolution, but they have these great little tool tips here and then they have at the bottom high fidelity and standard are best for AI generated images okay well that's what we'll go with let's click on high fidelity and it's preparing it's enhancing and the preview is updated now it's a little hard to see but I love this split view that you have and you can zoom in so our original is on the left and this is the update we can go to the top of the head to see a pretty big difference and then the farther you zoom in i mean look you can see the pixels from the original and that is filled with details in the upscale that's pretty incredible now look if you want me to deep dive into topaz photo ai please let me know in the comments below and i'll start working on that video as well but let's get to the other comparisons because i'm sure that's what you're interested in okay the original mid journey image is on the left here but i've mixed up the order Order of the other three upscales. Let's see if you can pick out which one you think is better. Now let's zoom in on a part of the armor. Say right about there. I mean, there's a pretty clear difference already. So what do you think? Which of these four is the most impressive to you? Keep in mind,
mind that the original is over here on the left. And let me introduce you to the Mid Journey 4X upscale over here on the right. I think it did a pretty good job. Like it's much better than the original. The upscale from upscale, second from the left. Again, I think this did a great job, especially for a free program. But I have to point out what I think is clearly the best, and that's from Topaz Photo AI. That darkness, that black, that's incredible. That is print ready design right there. And let me show you this inside of the program itself. It was honestly mind blowing. I actually chose graphics mode for this particular example. And watch what happens when I zoom in. Look at that. That's incredible. It can take this blurry pixelated mess and turn it into these crisp lines. Like I am just blown away by that. And that's why I said Topaz AI is the clear winner. This is the best upscaler money can buy, probably. I mean, I haven't tried everything in the world, but from what I've come across so far, this is the truth. This is the champion. If you're in any sort of print on demand business, this is what you should invest in. Super high quality, fun software to use, super fast, super effective. This is 2023 technology at its finest. Now let's go through one last comparison of an image with fur. Now obviously from a distance you can't tell, so let's zoom in. On the left here we have the base mid journey image, and I don't even think it looks that bad when you zoom in. Here is actually the Mid Journey 2X upscaler. I think it looks pretty good. There's the 4X, and you know what? The longer you look at the upscaler, the more the original just does not look very good. Here's the result from Upscale, the free software. And I think it looks good, but I wanna point out because there are so many different options in terms of models to use, maybe I didn't choose the best one for this particular example. So I don't wanna paint with a broad brush and determine that, oh, this is no good. Maybe I screwed up in the settings. As you can see, the hair is quite detailed. And I don't know, maybe that's a look you'll be going for. And there's Topaz Photo AI. I think it looks the best. It's pretty hard to argue. Let me point out this fur around its mouth. And I apologize for the liquid. Honestly, it was difficult to get a picture of a wolf that wasn't soaked in water. I have no idea why. Anything to do with the wolf seemed to come back with really wet fur. Let me know if I'm missing something there. I just wanted to point out that the 4X upscale looks pretty good from Mid Journey. The upscale from Upscale doesn't look that great. There's something about it, maybe too much detail where it shouldn't be, maybe too much of an opinion. Again, maybe I chose the wrong model. But look at Topaz. I think that looks so good. Like, so good. Compared to the original over here on the left, we get this. Like, that's incredible. I ran one more test that I wanted to show you. I took this picture of myself here and I blurred it a little in Photoshop. First of all, I don't think this is something that upscale is really built for, or at least I couldn't figure it out. It didn't do a very good job. But look what Topaz was able to do. We go from the original on the left to the intentional blur and then to the Topaz upscale. A lot of the crisp and clear details aren't there, but to get this from a blurry image, this test is about the idea of saving old images. It might be able to bring you to life in an old photo, and I think that's pretty important. There's a quick comparison between a few different prompts and a few different upscales. Did this convince you to try one of these, like Upscale or Topaz? Are these better options than the native Mid Journey? If you want me to deep dive in any of these programs, please leave me a comment below. If you want to see a really cool tile set prompt I found, check out this video here. I hope you're doing well, take care, and I'll see you next time. Peace.